And then if you guys have never played this before, um, it's great. It's basically a whodunit game. It originally is a board game called Clue or Cluedo in Australia and New Zealand, I think. Um, maybe in Europe? I know, I know it's called Clue in some areas. Um, okay, cool. Wait. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't see the passcode was up here. <laughs> Juju, were you wanting to play? I thought it didn't show it in the corner. I was like, wait, how did you guys get in so quickly? Sabi said they can jump if Juju wants to play. It's fine. I'm not going to play tonight. Okay, cool. Lock in the lobby. Hey, you guys already picked your characters. Okay, where's the vampire? Ooh. Let's be this chick. Actually, no, I want to change the character. Why can't I be... Oh, another player. Uh, oh, that is really cool. How cool is the peacock vampire? Should we be Frankenstein? Should we be Plum? Oh, you can be Scarlet. Whoever just gave Scarlet up, you can be Scarlet. You don't have to give it to me. Honestly. Oh yeah, I'll be Frankenstein. So you can change to Scarlet if you want. Savvy, you're being too nice. You be Scarlet, okay? I think Frankenstein's a hottie. Like, it's fun. Frankenstein's a hottie. Okay, I'm just gonna click now. Savvy's, I'm always Scarlet. Well, you you be Scarlet. Are you Scarlet now? Savvy, we're not starting the game until you're Scarlet. <laughs> Oh, Osiris. There we go. Okay, now we can start the game. Okay. All right, let's play. So basically, you've got to find who did it, woo, in what room, with what weapon, and everyone, so three cards are going to go into the middle of the board, which is a person, a weapon, and a room, and that's what happens. So those three cards are going in the middle, no one's going to look at them. And then the rest of the cards are dealt out to all the players. So, um, we're just going to see who goes first. So these are my cards. If you're playing, you shouldn't be looking at my screen. Um, these are my cards. So I know that what actually happened is none of these. So you're trying to figure out what cards everyone else has in order to figure out what happened, what cards were in the middle. This is a cool board, though. This map is so pretty, yeah. The music is kind of scary, though. I'm scared. We might have to turn the music down and put on jazz, because I'm scared. So I'm just going to put jazz on. <laughs> I don't like scary things. I have enough adrenaline running through my body every day to not need scary stuff in my life. Just, um... Oh wait, no, this isn't gonna work. Oh no. Okay, um, okay, whoops. So, sorry you guys, I'm holding everyone up. Can't be bad. Maybe they might have this. Okay. Oh, see you, Sean. Thanks for coming to brunch. Um, James didn't want to play, otherwise I would have. James. Um, otherwise he could have played. There we go. That's better. What? I'm not the biggest streamer for Clue right now. Who's bigger?
Who is bigger than me right now playing Cluedo? Cluedo is blowing off you guys. I'm being overtaken. Just, if people would just stick to their stream lane, stop stealing my game. This is my game. <laughs> no, really, it was Gluon and James's game before me. Caring is caring, maybe. You know what's been noticeably really annoying recently? <laughs> Thanks for the sound bites. I don't know if you guys are getting the same thing, but I'm getting texted about sales at stores a lot more. Don't <laughs> look at me that way. I'm doing the sound bite to go with your story. And I'm just over it. Like, it does not make me like a brand when they text my phone. I think it's really bad marketing. Yes, they probably do get some sales for it, but they're also crushing their brand's identity. I know Bowser. Bowser agrees. Anyway, it's our go. Mmm, mushroom. Enough to eat, honey. Mmm, mushroom. Nom, nom, nom. Um, where haven't we been yet? Maybe the... Oh, the graveyard looks really cool. Let's head to the graveyard. Okay, who do I think it is? I think it might be myself. Soundbite, James. James? Hmm? Soundbite. Oh. I think it's me. That's right. I think it's with the torch in the graveyard. <laughs> Thank um, you. I was just thinking, should you move your face cam over when you do this? Because you're covering a couple of rooms. Uh, yeah, maybe. It's not a bad idea. Okay. Oh, I thought that was what they might have. Um, no, you didn't. Yes, I did. Does Delhi still do raids after a stream? I do. Last week I didn't raid because I just <sighs> the pressure of the raid can sometimes get too much, you know? It's like there's this pressure to find someone to raid who's nice, deserving, and kind, and appropriate. And you know what? Sometimes you just don't want to raid. Sometimes you just want to be selfish and not selfless. So keep that in mind, people. It's okay. It's okay to not always do what, the, what people want you to do. You choose your choice. Hello, sister. Oh, hello. Hello. We're just playing some Cluedo. Nice. I just thought I'd um drop by your birthday stream. Yay! Welcome. Really Might be in camera here, but I'm just oh. my mask on. Huh? I've got my mask on. I've got a bit of the snuffle. Hi everybody. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I just I haven't given you your present yet, but I thought you could open that one on stream. Aw, thank you. So I've got a whole bundle of stuff for Delhi, but this present is an extremely appropriate one. Wait, I'm confused. So your other presents are my presents, but that one you can open on stream. Oh, thank you. If you want to, you don't have to. Should I? I think you should. I think people like it too. Okay. Cool. Let's see. Aw, thank you. The birthday keeps the, the birthday keeps on going. <laughs> the birthday never ends. Wee. Oh. 
it's from Ikea. Exactly, which is why I saw introduce to you on stream. What um, is this? Oh, people like it, they can go and get it themselves. It's like free is promotion. Is it sponsored? sponsored? <laughs> <laughs> if you like this too, you can go to your local like, yeah. IKEA. <laughs> Hashtag ad. It, Hashtag it's not an I ad. Wish it was, but you'll <laughs> That'd be a sick ad. <laughs> that would be. I wish we were sponsored That'd be by IKEA. Sponsored. Oh, it's like an egg. Wait, what? It's really cool. It's because she's an Easter baby, so it's like an Easter thing. Oh, cool. I can see. It's got speckles, except it's not for Yeah, exactly. It's funny. got speckles on it. Yeah. Oh, it's like a Russian doll. They're eggs in eggs. <laughs> I hope you're not behind because I would have thrown that egg. Oh my eggs. god, there's That's eggs in cool. eggs in eggs. In eggs. In eggs. Sorry, I can't see it. Oh, this is so cute. So you have an egg. Oops. In an egg. Okay, it's made out of stone. So. It's really cute. Thank Do you, you like so it? much. I saw it and it's so I cheap. I love like, it. I got it from IKEA so cheap. But it Aww. looks that, like there's never enough Easter decorations, right? There's always Christmas decorations, but I thought every Easter you could put it on display. That's so cute. Thank you. It's very okay. modern. It's very um. It's cool. It's very symbolic of being an Easter baby. It is. That's why I thought you liked it. That's beautiful. This is from IKEA too. This is not sponsored by them, but <laughs> you can get one of those fake roses. Mm, it smells so good. It does. No, it doesn't smell. But... <laughs> <laughs> I think it was like. Yeah, it was. I don't know. Maybe like twenty bucks. The rose? Oh, this. Yeah, the egg. Oh, it's, it's still a bit of a price. Or maybe less. Or maybe less. Okay. It's yeah. beautiful. Thank you, Olivia. Okay. I want more presents. More? Yeah. I have more for you, but that's kind of... I guess I want to give you a present. Okay. Yeah. Are they naughty gifts? Oh. oh. <laughs> I just don't want to give them on stream. Did you buy me my one legal marijuana plant? And that's not even a thing. You have to get rid of this uh, idea that she has. It's, a, it's apparently a thing. I, I'm not a smoker, but I it's thought it would be thing. cool. I could make my own hemp oil. What? It's not a thing. It is a thing. <laughs> What should I put what, in the eggs? Jewelry? Throw alfalfa sprouts. In the eggs? Yeah. That's such a boy thing to say. What? Alpha, what's wrong with alfalfa alpha sprouts? That's because you like eating them. Yeah, you can grow me some. <laughs> <laughs> um, Salt. Oh, yeah. We can, yeah, Ollie. We can I told now. you. We can get rid of the salt cellar and put salt in the eggs. Oh, new salt cellars. <laughs> I was thinking more of jewelry. I, I think my like chocolate eggs. My favorite one is the, the brown one. That would actually be really good for Easter. Yeah, putting like eggs in that. Yeah. That'd be nice. Okay, guys, I'm so sorry. I totally forgot about the game for a second. Apologies to those playing. Ooh, because stop the cellar hate. It was. Is it because you spent time making a cellar? <laughs> Little Dicker loves the cellar as well. <laughs> Little Dicker and I actually appreciate the small things in life. These are great. Thank you so much, Olivia. You're welcome. <laughs> I didn't leak anything. I just thought maybe that's what you've been doing. Oops. Whoa! Don't break the present. Look at like on the first day that you get it. <laughs> it's really cool. I love it. Thank I think you. I think you turned into a love egg. I think you put notes in it. Oh, yes. yeah, a breakup egg. A breakup egg? Yeah, we said we were going to have um, a jar. We're like, what's the best way to break up with someone? And then we decided there's no good way to break up with someone. So we thought we should have a jar that remains empty on a mantelpiece. Unless you want to break up, you put a nerd in it. Yeah. 
You look so, like you're about to cry. <laughs> so what, you just one day see so you know, it's sitting there. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and going. James James will be gone and they'll just be a note and then at least I'll be like, oh, he broke up with me. Like, okay. Like, it's meant <laughs> to be a nice true. way to do it. Well, to be fair, it could be the best way. Yeah, yeah you'll I always mean... be looking at this jar every day. <laughs> yeah, but reminded of everybody. Maybe, like, maybe you... ask uh, your Penny what she thinks of that idea. True. I haven't seen Penny for so long. And I won't get to see her next week either. Penny's my psychologist. Um, and I won't be able to see her next week. So it's going to be a long time, you guys. Mm. If you want me to source you guys a jar, <laughs> I can. <laughs> we don't. Huh? The breakup jar. Someone said maybe a proposal ring can go on one of the eggs. That's really cute. So you'll just open it next to Easter and there'll be a ring in it. <laughs> and I'll be like, oh, I forgot I did that. <laughs> um, those IKEA eggs are called radfraga, which means consult in English. Well, what does that mean? Like a consultation? Approaching someone? Sounds appropriate. Hmm. Look at this bedroom. Wow, look at that bed. That would be such a cool bedroom, but it looks cold. It looks dusty. Yeah, actually it does look a bit dusty. Each size of egg could contain a different spice. The bigger the egg, the spicier the spice. Wouldn't you want to go the other way though? Because if the <laughs> spice is spicier, you'd want less of it. So wouldn't you want to put that in a small egg? Mm, I, yeah, yeah, I get what you mean. Yeah, I, I think that's quite good. I think we should start, you know how we were saying we need a lot of money to support the nannies and twins and dog walker? We, need we some, could start break up jars. We need some spicy eggs for the CC club. Yeah, a little dicker. <laughs> get on it. <laughs> I like the little brown one. Yeah. The little dicker. The little dicker. Um, I was thinking about that. You can put coins in one of them. You could. They are kind of easy. I think that they, yeah. Or maybe not, maybe you could have them without the I'm not really into the, some people are going to be so upset in chat for me saying this, but I'm not really I into the, attention. yeah, I'm not really into holiday decorations. <gasps> I know, Speculation. but in, but in saying that I like minimal decor, right, decorations. So something like this for Easter and nothing else would be cute. Okay. So this is, this is good. This is very sense. good. But I, I don't like fluffy bunnies and chickens and pastel colors everywhere, personally. And let's be real, like a lot of the Christmas decorations are Yeah, I don't, I mean, a lot of people, Christmas. people like, wow, I love the tacky of Christmas. Yeah, but not me, not me. I don't like clutter. <sighs> That's okay, that's just your opinion. It's my opinion. <laughs> I choose my choice, okay? IMO, that's your opinion and we respect it. Thank you. I uh, I and respect that you respect. And other people will have their opinion on decorations. I am the only person now, who's it's a very allowed a serious topic, you know, how you feel, your opinion on like decorations. Yeah. But I'm the I'm I'm the only one who's allowed an opinion in this stream. Because I'm the streamer. The fat controller. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Thank you so much. This is so sweet. What a lovely, what a lovely gift. I just, because I always think of you in this event. Have you ever been born on? I think you. Wait, is there a Good Friday that has a birthday? Occasionally, my birthday's been on. I think my birthday's been on Easter once, or like on Good Friday or something. Yeah. But um, I always think of you at Easter time. 
That's so nice. That is very kind. How are you doing with um? Well, I was just looking then at my notes to see if there's any deduction deductions I can make. If I can deduce anything. James, what was that word you said before? Sentient. Have you heard of the word sentient? I have, but I can't remember what it means. Yeah. I'd never heard it before. It means like a, a living being or capable of thought and feelings, I think. Able to perceive or feel things. That's beautiful. <laughs> it's beautiful. <laughs> Sweet. Oh, you just got a new puppy, cat kid? Yay, congratulations. That's super exciting. Good luck with new puppy parenting. It can, it can be a lot. Oh, can it be a lot? It can be a lot. But I'm sure once you get through the tough parts, it can be very rewarding at the end. Um, I believe it was. I still think it's me. And I think it was with the amulet. I don't even know what an amulet is, a jewelry piece. Ooh, Ali might have something here for us. Oh, Baz is on food strike. Why? But I just heard James say that he, interesting, that he hasn't had any breakfast. <laughs> he's having a good food. Is that because he's being picky? It's hard to say if he's picky or just not hungry. <gasps> Bowsy! He's having the best. Oh. So this morning we woke up to Bowser on the bed. <laughs> he was like walking all over our legs, being like. Did he get up on the crate? Uh, yeah, he did. He has a little yeah. box from Ikea as well, not sponsored, that he hops up onto and then he hops onto the bed because he can't get up onto the bed by himself. <laughs> not much of a jumper. I couldn't think so, it was a big child. Yeah. It's funny to wake up. It was really cute because usually he only comes up when we tell invite him, but I guess now he's like, I can do what I want. Yeah. <laughs> he's so cute. He is cute. The life size teddy bear. Yeah, because he doesn't like cuddles. That's fine. Well, he doesn't really like cuddles from. Well, he'll put up with cuddles from us, but he doesn't really like it. Oh. Interesting. Interesting. Very interesting indeed. Um, did you train Bowser on your own? We have a five month old pup and Bowser is so well behaved. Uh, well, we tried to take him to puppy training and he didn't get through. <laughs> to the second class so <laughs> let's just say he didn't didn't he like just he, gone free he was so overstimulated it was like he couldn't focus on anything he didn't care about the food either the other dogs cared about the food he was like i don't care there's puppies here um they're notoriously really hard to train because they're not very food driven and very independent thinkers so we didn't go to pop. We tried puppy school, didn't work out. Um, and then we did a little bit of lead training. Um, and we got someone in to help with just in general, how to train him with positive reinforcement. Not really anything specifically, but we had a Jamaican dog whisperer come in. He was so cool. He was like the coolest person I've ever met. And he basically just told us how to communicate with Bowser. And he was like, just, you know, whenever he does something good, you say yes. 
um even if he just looks at you if he's off lead you say yes or when you even when he's doing something when he doesn't even think you're looking and you see it and it's a good thing you say yes and then he said negative reinforcement like saying no and bad things doesn't really do anything so we learned to always do positive reinforcement oh my gosh he's here <laughs> Bowsy! he's a flying chow he's here speak of the devil why are me he's like why am i up here <laughs> goodbye <sighs> That's impressive that you managed to get him in here. Good job, James. <laughs> he can stay in here, pals. You don't have to leave. He can stay in here. Do you want to come for a cuddle? He just walked away. <laughs> he turned the <away. laughs> I told you he doesn't like cuddles. That is a life-size teddy bear if I've ever seen one. It sure is. Yeah. But, um, but I, I was going to say your dog's only at five months. So five months, they're crazy. Ours has settled down maybe at about eight months. He matured a bit. And then at a year, he matured a little bit more. Um, when she gets the year, we found he was a lot more manageable. But yeah, five months, I wouldn't expect expect them to be very well behaved oh i remember when olivia babysat bowser for the first time oh my god and he thought it was so funny to like bite on her baggy pants and we caught it on puppy cam her like running away from him <laughs> i know that's so funny that it got caught it was filmed <laughs> on the home camera and you were swearing <laughs> I didn't know I was being filmed and I was like swearing and going off and I couldn't control him while he was like play he was play biting or his teeth were coming out. Yeah, he was teething. Um, but it's the one of the funniest things caught on video. It's hilarious. And I try not to swear, but I am swearing like like so much. <laughs> Just checking. Yeah. It was very funny. It was funny. Ah, the good old days. He was really crazy yesterday, though. I don't know what was up with him yesterday. I thought maybe a dog on heat had walked past or something. Because in the morning, he was, like, busting to get out the door. He went another... He always... He's a man of routine. He likes going the same way every day, but he went the opposite way. A oh, man of routine. And we were like, what is going on? And then he needed, like, four walks because he was so crazy. Pastries thing. This. I really want to have some. You should. They're vegan, so they're they're more alternative ingredients. And those They're vegan and gluten free. Look at this. So one's a Mars yeah. bar pod. The oh. other one is. I don't know what that is. And that's like a Ferrero Rocher bowl. Yum. You're welcome and I get to take. To have a little. <laughs> yeah, you can have whatever you want. Happy birthday. Ooh, this is interesting. Um, yes. It is true. Oh. Would you like some on these stream? Uh, no, thank you. Interesting indeed. Mm. Now it's the race to the finish line. I wonder. Have you played any Sims today? Not today, kid. We went out for brunch. Chat and I. Mm -hmm. The brunch service was kind of weird though. It was there weren't many people there. Like the and and then 
the background was really still. We were sitting outside, but there was no movement in the trees or anything. <laughs> That's funny. Oh. Yeah. So. It's okay. But it was nice. The food took a while. Um, but no Sims today. I played Sims last night, so. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Oh! <laughs> Jackpot. No way. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That was such a guess. So what we just found out then is we knew Scarlet and the amulet were in the middle, but I just guessed this and it happens to be the one that no one has. That's awesome. Scarlet. I think it's Scarlet with the amulet. Pardon me. In the crypts. <laughs> That's who it was. Yay! I won on my birthday. Nice. Yay! So good. That was awesome. Jackpot. And I, I never win. That's really exciting. Woo! Must have been my good luck egg. Take your top off. Take your Yes! <laughs> no! Take your top off! <laughs> Yay! Happy birthday! Thanks, guys! It was the egg. It was the good luck egg. It was a good luck egg. It was. It brings good fortune when anyone's around it. It does. Um, certainly. Well, let's play one more game. So, this game's gonna be a free one. Um, mods. If we could open up the game to chat. Um, thank you for playing. So I'm just going to put a code on the screen and whoever gets in, gets in. That's stressful. I know. Post online game. Because then we need stream snipers. You know, Fortnite. <laughs> yeah. Wait, I don't play online. Wait, I'm having a brain fart. Play with friends. Post online game. Okay, what's up? We've done the snowy peaks. Done murder express. So we'll do the wild west. Okay, if you want to join. Now's your chance, folks. Thank you very much for the game, you guys. Thank you, oh mods, gosh, for you playing. Just have to, like just jump in. I Seriously. know. Simplicity's in. Ollie's in. Kenzie's in. Lace Kenny is in. And who's the lucky last? Leo6512 is in. Lock in the lobby. Woo! Woo! Okay, let's go to a Wild West character. Where's Wild Good West? Good job, guys. And for everyone who missed out, well... Too bad. <laughs> so, <laughs> it was pretty hard to get in in the first place. <laughs> it was. So don't feel too bad. Uh, the Wild West characters are cool, hey? Mm. So we're going to be Rose. Oh, Plum's cool. Oh, man. Look at... He's jacked. Mustard is kind of cool. Oh, I like my chick. She's sick. All right. Are we ready, folks? Woo! Are we ready to rumble? Are we ready to rumble? Choo choo my gumbo! <laughs> <laughs> uh, Tidy Sims, thank you so much for the five months and Bex for the 29 months. All oh, the passcode didn't work for you, Rose. I'm sorry. Well, I'm playing Rose, so. Oh, I need to put the music on. Oh, wow. This is a very interesting map. Let me just get some music on. Oh, just... those of you who got into the game and managed, you are live. 
You a liar. Remember, don't look at my screen if you're playing, because oh, you'll yeah. see my cards. <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> Wait, this game. Everyone can cheat. I know. I'm oh, sure so people so cheat all the time when playing. You this managed to win. I oh. still won, because I got lucky. The egg. The egg. No the egg of power. Good vibe luck from Bo. It's Lord Bobo's egg. <laughs> well, this, this is fun. So, are you guys into the Wild West theme mm -hmm. in general, like movies, TV? Of course, Red Dead Redemption. True, Red Dead Redemption. I know you're a fan. Mm -hmm. Chinky poop. <laughs> it's Evelyn. Yes, Chinky poop. We should name the next stream baby Chinky. Did you know there's a place called Chinky Poop in Australia? What? <laughs> what, what was it? Chinky Poop? No, there's Poo Wong. No, not Poo Wong. Chinky Poop. I don't know Chinky Poop. Wait, we looked it up. I don't think it's actually called Chinky Poop. It's something very... Chinkapoo, I think it's called. Okay. But we call it Chinky Poop. And it's the cheapest place to buy land in Australia at the moment. Oh, wow. Yeah. Chinkapook. Maybe it was Chinkapook. Chinkapook. Not as desirable. I want to live in Chinkapoo. No one's stopping you, girl. <laughs> <laughs> no one's stopping you, girl. It's all go. Oh, yeah. And I see. Oh, okay, yeah. I'm sorry I picked this map. I didn't mean it to upset some people. Well, What's we'll play wrong? this one time, then we won't play it again. How's that? Is there a problem with the map? Yeah, it brings up racial, like Western things, brings up racial oh, issues okay. and historic oh, yeah, sad yeah. things that happened. So for some people, it's. Oh, you know for next time. Yeah. Why? What's with the shadow under our feet? Imagine if I won again. I'm gonna win this game again. Look at that. Just be glad. Then you're getting greedy. And I'm greedy. What have we got? Interesting tea. Very, very interesting tea. How much is this game? Um, I actually don't know. The The base game is cheaper, obviously. And then if you want to get the extra maps and stuff, it's more expensive. But you don't need to have the extra maps. Like whoever's playing right now, they might not, they might be playing in the base mansion map with the base characters and that's fine. You don't need to be updated to the latest. This reminds me when James made a Wild West theme park in Roller Coaster Tycoon. It's awesome. Yeah, I see simplicity is just base game. Simplicity, simplicity likes it simple, simplistic. Simplicity is key to simplicity. Oh, look at the horses. Did you know, Olivia, that in the last 13 years, more people have died from horses than spider bites? That wasn't a fact. Wasn't it? No, it was between the years of 2000 and 2013. Oh, yeah, in the last... Oh, 2000 and 2013. 2021. Okay. Anyway, the zero deaths per spider is 74 by That is... So really it's pretty... As long as you, you know, get a spider bite. In which... Oh, are you talking about Australia? Yeah, just in Australia. That's good. It's a good issue. Exactly. Yeah, and there's like a thousand car per year. So you're way more likely to have a car. Mm -hmm. But some people don't want to come here. You're scared. You'd be scared yeah. of the roads. You're scared of, yeah. Well, probably, you, I wonder how many odds are of a plane to go to a car. James has a lot facts. He does. Really, I mean. I mean, it doesn't mean I like spiders. I still get mad to deal with the spiders. <laughs> they take She's good at dealing with yeah. things. You can still be scared of it, but, you know. Don't you have someone else to deal with it for you? Sorry. 
<laughs> Thanks, James. <laughs> I mean, my man, waiting. Yeah. Actually, you're really good at dealing with things. Oh, thank you. That's yeah. really nice. You're like, give it to me. I'll handle it. Really? I'm not messing around. Yeah. It's true. I don't mess around. You also lifts a lot of things. <laughs> I think I, I have really, super strength. She's really strong and I'm like really weak. <laughs> can't even lift shopping bags. So Maddie's we like, have a very different build. Maddie's like, give it to me. You're like a ballerina body and I'm like, That's go Maddie. work in the mind body. I did do ballet. Too. Yeah, but that doesn't make you have a ballet build. But I ended up with one. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> but I ended up with one. I'm like a twig in the wind. A twig in the wind. I'm like a pole in the dirt like in the I wind. Like I took a box down. To, <laughs> took a box down to the bin room. Mm -hmm. And now my hands are really sore. Oh no. Like I have the most impractical body. Oh god. Can't lift anything. Well, childbirth either. Oh, <laughs> oh no, I just messed this up. No, I'm just, I don't have a lot of strength, though. You have strength in your mind, though, and that's I do, what matters. I do. Strength of the mind outweighs strength in the body, because without strength in the mind, you can't use the strength of your body. Well, How's I like that? to study a lot, so. Yeah. You are a studier. I am. Yeah, I think I have a super power. I think I'm a descendant of the Hulk. Because <laughs> <laughs> I can lift stuff. Oh. I don't know how you kill someone with a gold nugget either. Um, Nat Daisy, thank you so much for the five months. Welcome home from work. Now you can put your feet up and relax. And Sierra, thank you so much for the eight months. Almost at the stream, baby. We love a strong queen. Do it. <laughs> I'm really burpy today. I have a lot of gas today. I'm not lower gas though. It's your birthday. You can do whatever you want. It's still my birthday. Oh. Hmm. I'm gonna go with this one. Very interesting tea. Thank you, Angel. One of my friends said happy birthday to me and I said, happy birthday to you too. <laughs> and I messaged him, I was like, wait, that's not right. I've done that before. Happy birthday. Must be a big nugget, it must be worth a lot. I think you should be smashing someone on the head with a gold nugget if it's big enough to do that. You should probably go sell it instead. I'm thinking we should invest in gold and silver nuggets instead of investing in money in the bank because if the world comes to an end, people will care about gold, but they won't care about money. Mr. Beast needs gold nuggets with people. That's really nice like of him. him. Tips. That was one of his videos. That's cool. But they didn't understand like the value of it. He's like, I just gave you five thousand dollars. What? <laughs> They're like, thanks. <laughs> yeah, they didn't know that they were holding five thousand dollars. And then he went past um. Someone was stopped at a traffic light, and he just like the window was partly down. He's like, hey, dude, and hand them a gold nugget. And they're like, what? How and they did didn't he... know that it was like five thousand dollars? The thing that I don't understand is how do they... So if they do these videos where they give stuff to random people, how do they get their consent to be on film if they're driving past? Or do they just not... I guess they just don't really care. So like, why would someone sue me for being in my video when I just gave them a $5,000 gold nugget? I wouldn't sue. I'd be like, thank you. It's the price I paid for the gold nugget. Yeah, but like technically you're not really meant to do that. They probably get it after, but if they're doing a drive-by, how do they get it after? I've often wondered too. Hmm. 
Yeah. I reckon they just don't care and they're like, well, the likelihood of me getting sued by them is low. And plus, those YouTubers are so rich anyway, they can probably just go to court. Or but pay it off. to be fair, they're trying to help people. Yeah. It's not like they're doing something dodgy. Hmm. You know what I mean? Oh, thanks, Ninja Snaps. It is an interesting concept, though. I mean, he wouldn't be able to help people. And so much of his content is based on helping. Yeah. Did you ever finish Last of Us 2 Delhi? We haven't finished it. Did you? No, we haven't finished it. I don't know when we will. <laughs> I want to, it's just, it's a really scary game. It's just heavy, you know? I love it. I regret not finishing it sooner. I, I do have regrets. <laughs> I just sit there in your hoodie. <laughs> I have regrets. And your old age, I do have regrets. I do have regrets. Oh my time. I should have worn an Oh my gosh, I am gonna be an old 80 year old person in an hoodie. It's okay. But it'll be like a Velcro one so I can get in and out of it more <laughs> easily. I'll still come to your streams. Thanks. That'd be hilarious. Will you guys, who <laughs> will come to my streams when I'm 80 and I'm still on Twitch? Me! Yay! <laughs> be there, girl. Oh, oh, thanks, the Fuzzy Toaster. Thanks, Juju. You'll come? Well, oh, thank you. I will if I'm alive. I'll be 80 <laughs> <alive>. too. <laughs> You're gonna put on your Udi as well, Miv? Nice. Oh. Oh. Interesting. I thought this might be the case. Mm. What can we deduce from this? Deduce. 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 Yo. Yo. <laughs> you may. Be careful, they're very special. Thank you. May Bobo bless you with his eggs. Bobo laid those eggs. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I really need an Udi. Well, this isn't the Udi brand. Um, we got this from Bed Bath and Table. Well, this was a gift actually, and then James got the same one. Um, but his has clouds on it. But these are really nice. I like it a lot. I Honestly, I don't like hoods. Yeah, you don't like hoods. Hoods are the best. I love wearing my hood with my headphones over it because you can still hear through the fabric. Oh, Ollie, you disconnected. Oh, no, that's so sad. Rooting for you. Oh, Ollie. That's one of my nicknames. So. It's true. You don't like being called Ollie, though. Yeah, I get called it a lot. Yeah, you don't like it, though. Bye, Elle. Bye, Elle, Samara. Have a good one. Thanks for coming to my brunch. Wait, Bed, Bath & Table? Yeah, that's what it's called. But it's not Bed, Bath & Beyond. I think it's a separate entity. It just happens to have a similar name, you know? I feel like everyone knows my cards. Yeah, it's not cool, man. Oh, man. Have I played It Takes Two again? No, but James and I will play it again soon on stream. 
Maybe on Monday. Yeah, Gwendolyn, you can play this on... Uh, you can get off Steam and play it on PC. So wait, Ollie, is this an AI now? <gasps> How could you suggest it was me? Damn it. I'm giving away all my cards, but I'm not seeing anyone else's cards. How would you... I'm trying to. How would you kill someone with a horseshoe? It's very violent. Okay, if you guys were in this game, what would you use? I would... If it was me... And I had to take out one of these characters... I would probably go to... Uh, well, there's not really much storage in any of these places for a body. Maybe the sheriff's office, because that looks like the sheriff did it. And you could like put them behind the clock. And then... An, I'm actually gonna go myself and my weapon of choice would definitely be <laughs> the whip's horrible probably the gold Jeez. nugget no i'd just uh ew the pickaxe would be very messy maybe the six shooter you know that's the least it's messy loud. Uh, no Oh, <laughs> Olivia, that's so creepy. <laughs> we really shouldn't discuss this on stream. Can't go wrong with the horseshoe. <laughs> Gold nugget for sure. Um, whip. The gold nugget to be classy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. A knife in the courthouse did it big and make it a federal do it big and make it a federal crime oh my gosh i'm a toss a horseshoe bam <laughs> yeah maybe the horseshoes like no i think i don't know i i don't i don't really want to do that so i think the goal Classy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe the gold nugget. Then they'll be like, damn, she had this gold nugget and she <laughs> left it there, so she must be pretty rich. <laughs> yeah, actually, the gold nugget, because then that would mean I was loaded. Toss the horseshoe. Simplicity is playing with base games, so you have no idea what weapons we're talking about. It's funny that a bottle isn't one of the weapons in the saloon. I feel like that would have been good for the map. That would have been good. Yeah, you know what? We should contact the developers and write a thank you letter. For all the joy the game has brought us. Although they just bought the game from whoever created Pluto. Very interesting tea just now, by the way, people. Ooh, okay. Okay. This is interesting. Do you not remove the numbers when you know a card for them? Um, no, but I guess I could. Oops. See, that's why I don't remove the numbers, because I messed it up. Mithla, stop looking, because then you know how to... You know my tactics. Hey, <laughs> 
Yay! I love horses. Same. It's really scary though, don't you think? Their teeth are so big. I think it's small spent. Horses? Work, but they're really beautiful, like well. Yeah, but there's does anyone own a horse here? Cause damn, that's that's big. I wish I could. Really? Mm -hmm. Would you ride it or just like yeah. add it? <laughs> no, I would, I would just have a horse to add it. Interesting tea. Do you like Credo, Olivia? Yeah, it's good. It's a classic. Mm. Sims. Yay, we stand Sims. I love Sims. I love Animal Crossing. Animal Crossing's good. And I love Mario Kart. Mario Kart's a good time. Did I appreciate a classic? I also like. Fortnite. You double in a lot. Mm -hmm. I haven't played Minecraft. Who's a Minecraft fan in the chat? I just haven't played it. Hmm. I just haven't played it. Minecraft's a funny one. Like, I enjoy Minecraft. I think it's a really, really good game. But I still find it really ugly. Like, aesthetically... I know, like, aesthetically, I just wish it was prettier. But then it wouldn't be what the game is today, and it wouldn't be as as accessible. It's how I feel when I sit down at my PC and use my Mac. Mm-hmm. I hear I you. just always look at the PC and think, gosh, it's so ugly. Compared to Apple. Mm -hmm. I don't know why we like aesthetic things so much. It's kind of a weird it's thing. The way that the way artistic works. So. Do you think if we grew up in caves we would be the same and we'd be like, oh that's a nice boulder? Mm-hmm. So you don't think it's just how no, so we weren't we brought have... up in a like I think we both have very artistic to us mm. and have an eye for aesthetic design. Mm. Always doing that way. It is. We just have those jeans. Yeah. Jeans. Maybe. You like watching Minecraft? A lot of you guys like Minecraft. You can change the look of Minecraft. I know, but then there's gonna be updates and stuff. That is a nice boulder. I it's, like that it's boulder. It's not as intense as Fortnite. Hey, Lurgiba. Yeah. Oh, definitely not. Well, it depends on then if you're playing hardcore mode, it can get pretty intense. As in, you don't have to no great at it. of a hard game you have so much more info than you put on your on your board i haven't really been concentrating very hard because i've been chatting as well Is it out. the hum? Right. When her, when she sticks out her tongue, when she's concentrating, like uh, above her top lip, like that. That's when you know. <laughs> you do the same thing. Yeah, I do. It's so funny. 
Not very often. The greatest look for us, though. No. <laughs> it's not very attractive. I'm gonna go to jail. Where's my get out of jail free card? <laughs> I feel oh god I have actually been really tired the last few days I think maybe I went too hard on my birthday I mean you are wearing an Audi so it doesn't exactly it looks, it's so soft like yeah it puts her in a that's nice a relaxed mood anyway <laughs> Who's my favorite character in this? Um, I, you know, I like them all for different reasons. I probably would always pick Scarlet though. I mean, a lot of people pick Scarlet. But you know, depending on the character's vibe. Like for this, this one, I really like the character I'm playing now. Cool. But I like Scarlet's glamour on all the boards. That's kind of fun. It's like a deviant housewife who killed her husband for money. Really terrible. I know. But you got those on the big jobs. Skipping the gym no 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 it's okay i like switching up the characters i don't always play scarlet i know scarlet's your thing so that's okay oh now this is very interesting dude oh It is your birthday. Um, not today. It was on the 10th, but we had to do a belated birthday stream. Why did you stop playing Animal Crossing? I stopped playing Animal Crossing because I got really frustrated that I couldn't get matching furniture easily to decorate my house with. That's ridiculous. <laughs> That's not ridiculous. It is so hard to get matching sets. And I was like, I just want to furnish my house. Can't I just buy what I want? And it was just really frustrating. That's the Sim player coming out of here. I think so too. Like I'm used to the Sims. Like if I work hard, I should be able to get it. None of this selective luck in this game. And no, I'm not going to go to external websites to get what I need. <laughs> well, it's kind of rude. I've paused playing because I finished Animal Crossing. So I finished the game, so I, I put it down for a bit, but I can go back and keep watching on my island. Um, but I found a good part, a good place to pause it on. Because like the screen credits rolled up and... Oh, you mean the after the DJ thing? KK Slider. KK Slider. Yeah, and when all the credits roll. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, I... I got to that point. So that's finishing the game, but then you can keep working on it. Yeah, no, I got to that too. But then after that, I was like, oh, I don't know what to do now. It's a great game. Just because Deli got frustrated with the furniture, don't let it put you off. <laughs> it is a great game, but yeah, I didn't... I don't know. I think it's it it's suits not... a particular player. But hold on a second. It's not a sandbox game. Uh, well, it is half a. It is a sandbox game. Kind of. With a, a short storyline. Okay, it depends. On, but in another way, is it start and finish? Yeah. 
I think it would be good if Sims did something like that. Like had, oh, I guess they did with the Strangerville pack. Wait, Scarlet, Six Shooter. It's a great game and everyone should play it. That is my review. That's good. <laughs> That's your review you leave on the store. It's a great game and you think everyone should play it. Thanks, Magic Massages. I love collecting all the fish bugs, fossils, and art. Mm. Yeah, the aquarium's pretty cool. I, the collectible side of it's good. I would really love to collect everything in The Sims 4, actually. Do the collectible challenge. Oh, man. Sounds like, like hard all, work. Yeah, take ages. No, that kind of thing drives me crazy. Yeah, I don't think it would be very good for content, but in my own time, it'd be fun. Did James stop playing it for the same reason? Because he was playing Animal Crossing 2 at some point. You finished it. A lot of... Yeah, a lot of people stopped playing after the KK Slider. I the think. Screen credits roll. Yeah. So. But also, they have to produce a lot of YouTube content, so they don't have the luxury to play games like a lot of us. Like when you're gaming on a professional level, and you have got videos to make, girl. Yeah, well, you can't, otherwise you'd play games 24-7, and it's just not really healthy, so... I play <laughs> I, I play Sims in my own time, but it's usually connected to content making. Like, it'll be exploring ideas for a new LP, maybe? Like, I've created a lot of families and homes for potential LPs, and then decided not to go ahead with it. Um... This game's going for a long time. <gasps> Leo's making an accusation. Yeah. Who could it be? I didn't deduce anything. Really. Multitasking helps. Three, you're not so very. <gasps> Oh my gosh, green with the whip. I thought it was the whip. The general store. Oh no! Wait, wait. Green said, oh no, whip. And the general store. Interesting tea. Hmm. That's too bad, Green. It's okay, though. Happens to the best of us. I think you've done very well. Mm -hmm. Good is good enough. Wait, did I? I think I just forgot to take notes. Wait. I just stopped for a second. Oh no. Aw, oh, Nightbot, that's sweet. <laughs> uh, I guess we'll just go over to here. <laughs> Share bear, that's funny. Um, I mean, I don't know, maybe this guy? And maybe, well, there we go. Imagine if I got the guess again, that would be so good. Oh, okay. Uh. What have you got for me, Kenzie? Uh, just as I had suspected. Doing the 
tongue-sing. I am! Kosha! <laughs> um, got him. Got him. Uh, one. Do they have to have had this? And then that would mean they don't have that. that they must have that. So that leaves us with that, that, and... You've known a lot of this for a while. Well, I'm just piecing it all together now. This is possible. That's okay. This is possible. Oh wait, this is also possible. This could be... Well, if they have... That's likely a no. Wait, so one, two, three. I'm trying to figure out if I can make a guess this time. Oh, thanks, JK. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Aw, oh, man. I could make a guesstimate. I'm pretty sure that they have this. Which means they wouldn't have this. And the like, and this person, I reckon, I guess they could still have this, to be honest. Oh, which means they don't have this. Oh, bye. Bye. Thanks for coming to the stream. Bye, everyone. Happy birthday. Thank Hello. you. Thank you for my eggy. You're welcome. I appreciate it. You're welcome. I just want to say happy birthday to everyone, but. Happy birthday, everyone. Not? Happy birthday, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> you got this, girl. I got this. I'm trying to figure it out. That one, that one. So close, but I don't know out of these. Wait, think, Deli, think. Nope, I don't think I can guess. The question is, does does green have this card? I I it could be this. It could be this. This is my guess at the moment. Or there's this. Uh I'm gonna have to end the turn. I'm sorry everyone playing. I just made you wait for ages. We're so close to getting this. It could also be this. Honestly, it could be this too. I just don't know. <sighs> Hopefully no one else guesses. Okay, the game first. <laughs> just don't know.
I think we're gonna be able to guess by our next turn, but I think someone's gonna guess before us. What did I miss? Oh, you're missing a very intense stream. Is Simplicity gonna guess? Maybe. Okay, interesting too. Mm, so we're basically, it's either this or this. Oh, I wanted it to be my turn again. Are you wearing a koala hoodie? Yes, I'm wearing a hoodie kind of thing. You need to understand this game. You should get it and just play it. You pick it up pretty quickly. It's confusing for maybe your first few games. I just need to figure it out. It's literally on your sheet? What do you mean? Is it? Oh, simplicity is guessing. <gasps> Will simplicity get it? Is this a guess simplicity or do you know? I made the notes notes wrong. Oh. <gasps> what? Green with the six shooter. <sighs> Your deductions are wrong, simplicity. We're still in the game. Oh, I forgot to write down what they just guessed. Oops. I think this is wrong though, you guys. Oh no, it has to be that. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, that's fine. I think this was a mistake, but I see why I've done it because of my other notes, because of this one. Is it? Oh, actually, technically, that might not be it. Yeah, that's true. Oh, I think they got it. What? Oh, they got it. They got it. They got it. They got it. Well done. So it was the blacksmiths. Well done. Well done, Lace Kenny. GG's. Very interesting tea indeed. 